A few of my subscribers have informed me about this story right here coming out of New Jersey. Now, this is an interesting story for a multitude of reasons. But let me go ahead and give you the summary. So in this picture, you see two women. On the left, you see a woman by the name of Myra Ga Gavilanes Electus. And on the right is another woman by the name of Rebecca Gavilanes Electus. Yes, they have the same last name, and it's not because they're sisters. These two were married, so they were part of the L class of the academy. Uh, Myra, who was the one on the left, is 47, and Rebecca is 32, or should I say was 32. Look at that age gap right there. Apparently... There's tr there was trouble in paradise with these two because Rebecca is no longer amongst the living. Myra killed her. They said she beat her wife to death with a wine chiller. Do you know how aggressive you have to be to kill somebody with a wine chiller? Now, this is toxic femininity at work here. Now, I already know y'all are going to talk about or mention the obvious. So I don't even have to say it in this video. But one thing I am going to ask, where is the Academy at? They can slap their brand onto deceased black men to try to push their narrative. They can talk about how homophobic the black community is. They can say that heterosexual black men need to be more open and welcoming of them. But I have yet to hear a peep about this story right here from them and this happened within their community where you have this woman that killed her wife in the most brutal way possible let me go ahead and get into it a woman in new jersey has been accused of murder by bludgeoning her wife to death with a wine chiller. The prosecutors of the Ocean County said in a press release on Tuesday that Myra Gavilanes Electus, age 47, faces charges of murder and arms crimes in the killing of Rebecca Gavilanes Electus, 32. On Sunday, in the upshore of the couple's apartments in New Jersey, police found Rebecca's lifeless body. According to the release of the Asbury Park Press, officers rushed to residents in the Millbrook Manor complex after they had received reports of a disruptive woman. The investigation also showed that in the commission of the murder of cylindrical container for chilling wine was used, the prosecution said in a statement. Further investigation revealed Myra did in fact cause the victim's death and a warrant was issued for her arrest. Investigators didn't reveal how they reached that conclusion. Authorities confirmed that Myra and Rebecca lived together in Ocean County. Prosecutors said it is our understanding that they were married. Police had initially called Rebecca's killing a suspicious death. Law enforcement officials are now on the hunt for Myra, who they suspect fled the apartment after the killing and is now considered a fugitive. A week before the killing on Facebook, Myra gushed about Rebecca's uncountable ways that she made her life better. My love, thanks for all the countless ways you're making this little crazy family and my whole life better with every moment. Now... I've said before on my channel, and this is of no surprise because I think many of you are aware, that when it comes to the L class, it has been stated and has been documented that they have some of the most abusive domestic violence based relationships out of any, I guess you can say, sector of, of groups of people when it comes to relationships. That's between um, whether you're you had a heterosexual relationship, an uh, interracial relationship, and a same gender relationship. They say they rank at the top or damn near at the top for abusive domestic violence based relationships. Because you got to think, you have two women there. One may be harboring more masculine energy than the other, or they're trying, or the one that's harboring the masculine energy is trying to you know, fight off that feminine energy and it takes a toll and they take it out on their spouse. One other thing I've also noticed is when it comes to crimes like this in relationships, I notice how soon before the crime actually occurs, they always talk about how the partner loved this person and loved this person with all their heart. They live these soliloquies and all types of stuff. And it's usually the person who does the killing 
that leaves that. Just like in this situation right here, the one who did the killing was saying how much she loved her and she she couldn't imagine her life without her. Now, that was that was a week ago. And then less than a week later, she kills the person she claims to be so in love with. Unless the definition has changed. That wasn't love. Last I checked. Because a person who loves somebody wouldn't beat them over the head or beat them to death, I should say, with a wine chiller. Now, we don't know what the motive is because they don't have her in custody as of yet. Not um, so far that I know. OK, you know what? I had to pause the video right quick because something just told me to go and look up and see if there was any updates that come from this video. So apparently the uh, the Myra chick, the one who killed her, um, her, her wife, she has been apprehended. And guess what? They found her in Texas. Now, you got to think for a second here. This woman killed her wife all the way in New Jersey and they found her all the way in Texas as of when did they when did they find her? They found her on Wednesday, May 20th, and she did the killing this past Sunday. So you got to think Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And I would like to know, how does she get there? Like, how does she get from New Jersey to Texas? And then how long was she there for before they actually caught her? Did she call somebody to take her there? Because now they're going to ask her. They're going to probably ask her, was this premeditated? You know, because where did she got up out of there? I mean, from New Jersey to Texas, do you know how long of a travel that is? And I doubt she flew. Something tells me she didn't fly. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and read this article. It says a brick woman accused of killing her wife with a wine chiller was apprehended in Texas. She was charged with the murder of Rebecca Gavilanes Electus and was arrested in Houston, Texas. And Houston is like in the middle. I want to say in the middle of Texas, somewhere around that part. They said that she uh, traveled from to Houston from New York by bus. So that's how she got there. And she killed her wife on May 17th, and they caught her on Wednesday, May 20th, three days later. Wow. This is this is a very interesting story right here, but I'm going to go ahead and end it. Y'all let me know what you think.